Welcome to God is One. One of our mantras is always listen to your body. And coming to this disease, this myeloma disease, I've heard through, in my research, that blood is the body's truth. It's, a, it's, it's an own form of listening to your body. But sometimes you don't understand what your body is telling you. So the second part of listen to your body, and if you don't understand what it's telling you, because your body never lies to you, check in with your coach. Yeah. And in this case, check in with your doctor. So doctor, tell us, what is this myeloma disease? I think just to go back to what you said, that is so true. If something's not quite right, check in. And you're completely correct. So myeloma is a kind of blood cancer. There's probably about 35,000 new cases in the US each year. So it's relatively rare. But it's a blood cancer that's unusual and presents with very unusual symptoms. So sometimes people can be tired because their hemoglobin level's low and they're essentially running on half a tank of gas. Sometimes they can have back pain or bone pain. And sometimes they can have problems with their kidneys or frequent infections. And so it's a slightly different cancer to say maybe breast cancer or bowel cancer because it presents with these unusual symptoms. So it's sometimes difficult to put your, your finger on exactly what's going wrong. But usually patients will say they've been to their doctor a few times complaining about their back and just can't get to the bottom of it. And then their doctor does some blood tests and hey, presto, they come out with this blood cancer. Okay, that's M-spike in my case. That's the one. So every year I go to see my doctor for my annual. And of course they do the, what do they call it, the complete yeah. comprehensive blood count. That's the one. And something unusual came up. It was a protein that's not supposed to be there. And you do the follow-up. Well, there are three stages. So tell us of those three stages, MGUS, smoldering, and active. That's right. The MGUS one is actually relatively common. And as you say, it tends to be for people who go either for their regular checkup or go to the doctor for something else. And those patients, or should I say individuals, because they're not really a patient, they have a small protein in their blood, but theoretically it doesn't do any damage. So that's one group. We then have the group on the other side where those patients, the small protein is doing a damage either to the bone or to the kidneys or to the blood. And those patients need to have some treatment, whereas the patients with just a little protein don't need some treatment. Then there's this group in the middle that we call smoldering myeloma, where we're a little bit concerned in that the patient is okay at the moment, the levels are all right, but we're just a bit worried that it might go on and develop and cause some issues and problems. And so that group of patients, we tend to follow very, very closely because not everybody will go on and get problems. And if a patient is going to go on and get problems, we want to be there and sort it out quickly. Okay. You joined a Weight Watchers group. Weight yeah. meeting, W-A-I-T, is it's active monitoring. Yeah. And those people that are considered standard risk. Yeah. There are some, you know, from past experience that, geez, within two years, you're probably going to transition to this active. We want to do treatment, even though you don't have the disease, per se, you don't have the cancer. We want to start treatment. Yeah, that's right. There's this group of patients where we say, right, OK, we know you don't have what we call end organ damage, but we know it's going to come in the next few months. Let's get in there and let's do the treatment before you have that problem. Okay. And then there's this other group where we're thinking, well, actually, maybe their disease is not going to cause them a problem for three years or five years or maybe never. And so that group of patients, we're going to do the watchful waiting and that always sounds easy from the outside, but actually sometimes that can be more problematic because I think from a patient's perspective, it feels as if you're just sitting there watching and waiting for something to go wrong. Right, right, right. I joined a few support groups and not too surprising that uh, when they go for those tests, because that watchful waiting means you've been tested every three months. Luckily, 
because I had a few months to, to think about it and review this, because at first I was in total panic, I went to Dr. Google. Eventually I found Health3, which is one of the good sites. One of the doctors had a really nice analogy about the bone marrow. He said, your bone marrow has like 20% red blood cells, maybe 60% white blood cells, 10% of blood clotting, 10% of something else. And this is 1% plasma. And the plasma cells is where the myeloma occurs. Yeah. Some of the plasma cells misbehave. Yep. And then what happens is it starts reproducing uncontrollably. Yep. And so this garden of red, white, clotting, specialized plasma starts yeah. growing. Yeah. And... And so, so a typical bone marrow only has 1%. Patients that have my, myeloma have... 10%, 20%, 30%. And yeah. higher. And higher. The gardening analogy is actually a good one because essentially they're weeds that, do, that drown everything else out. And so the other cells can't live and don't grow very okay. well. And these guys grow. They grow. All right. One of the amazing things for me about about myeloma is when I first started doing myeloma, which is like 25 years ago, the, the survival for patients then was incredibly low. It was one of the worst cancers we had. And the survival was maybe about three years or something like that. But nowadays we've had, it's probably the cancer with the most improvement in survival. And it's also the cancer with the most number of new drugs that have been approved for it in the space of kind of 10 to 15 years. And so such a huge amount of um, progress has been made. Getting a cancer is never good, okay? However, I think that for myeloma, the, the outlook now is so, so much better. And it kind of circles back to something you were saying earlier about Dr. Google. That's one of the problems with Dr. Google and myeloma is that the data is often out of date because it's such a chain, quickly changing field and we've made such progress. In fact, a multiple myeloma research foundation has many runs throughout the country, but they have one in New York City, a 5K. So I want to invite you to join my team. I'm going to call it Got to Run with Will. I'm going to fundraise and it's Dr. somewhere. Dr. Morgan and I will definitely be with you. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. No, thank you for having me. It's been a delight. Thank you so much. This has been a Gotta Run With Will moment.